it is Monday and it's a new day. It is, yeah, it's Monday. That's what's happening. I had my coffee this morning as the usual. I find the coffee actually, like, I burn immune to it, which is probably not good, but uh, it still tastes good. So that's a good thing. I had breakfast, I've had lunch. I don't know why I'm still talking about food, but it's been a pretty productive day so far. I had my class. I realized I don't have much to do. I planned out a experiment that I have to do for my class. It's a sociology project. Anyway, it is surprisingly warm outside. Like it is definitely almost 80 degrees today, which is nice considering it's been so cold and rainy the last couple weeks. And now that it's nice, it's like super jarring, I guess. Uh, but I'm still wearing lighter pants and a sweater because I am going to be in the studio for several hours because I have class that goes until night and it definitely cools down by night time. So I'm going to keep this going, but I am not complaining. The weather has been wonderful. Uh, I actually wore flip flops this morning, but I have to change out to sneakers for class because being in the studio means you can't just wear flip flops. Apparently that's dangerous. Ha ha ha, danger. I like flip flops. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty clear day. I can see the ocean today. It's wonderful. It's Monday. I usually don't talk on Monday. They usually just started on a Tuesday because there's much to say on Monday. Also, okay, I watched Stranger Things and it was really, really good. But like, I don't know. I don't know. First of all, I don't know why the character Barb was so, like, internetized. Especially since she wasn't in that long. So I don't know. I just remember hearing a lot about Barb. And then I was just expecting more. And then at the end, I was expecting more of an ending where things were more resolved and they definitely weren't. There's a lot of things left unanswered and a lot of questions I still had, which I know goes into like possible sequel, things like that. It leaves room for adding in more and I know there's a second season, but I just felt like there could have been at least a little board split. So yeah, but overall it was really good and it was intense. It was definitely everything that I really liked to watch. So I definitely enjoyed watching it and I do highly recommend and yeah. The time has definitely passed since I last taught but I do have another update on but moral of the story is I don't know it's just the longer I'm in LA the more of an LA person I kind of become. I, I'm not saying I have hit every stereotype of an LA person but I am definitely getting there and a lot of things are going on and I know just from watching other people's vlogs and everything, everyone's like, oh, I have a meeting or I have something I can't talk about. It's super annoying because you're like, I just want to know, like, why would you say that if you can't say anything? And uh, I've had an opportunity today where I'm at that point, and I know I've been like this for many different things over the course of the last couple weeks, but yeah, there's something definitely really exciting going on that, again, this isn't guaranteed either, but it's like a really close chance of something really amazing and something I really would love to be a part of and it's weird because I mean I never really expected that especially at this point in my life at least I would be able to be talking to a camera essentially and being able to say something like that so be able to be like oh yeah so like I have a meeting coming up and uh, I can't tell you any details and like it seems weird but it's really exciting and I want to be able to share that something's going on just for the sake of being able to look back and be like, huh, yeah, or oh yeah, there. Like, I don't even know. It's just, it's nice to be able to say something to get that excitement out there, even if I can't be specific about it. It is the end of Tuesday and a lot happened today. It's been stressful, but a lot of good things, just still a lot. Uh, essentially, my finger is completely healed, and by that I mean I'm technically still healing from the next month, but apparently I am just a super human being who is capable of healing quick enough. So yeah, to me it feels fine, I'm still able to use it, and I don't have to go back to the doctors about it anymore, so yay! Awesome! That healed a lot quicker than I was actually expecting, which is crazy because I didn't realize that you could heal that quickly. And I mean, I guess in different situations, to be different and I tend to be a very bendable person to begin with uh, so yeah yeah I'm just really excited about that I did go to Chick-fil-a afterwards uh, to pick up lunch we just went through the drive-thru picked it up ate it in the room and then went to my dance class where we actually got to dance and I know this sounds weird I told you before it's kind of more conceptual sort of thing which is awesome and amazing but today a guest came in and apparently this week we're actually dancing which is so much fun and yeah, so that's been different. I had work earlier, and then tonight was the Bob Ross night uh, where we get to paint. Uh, definitely super excited about that because, you know, 
I like to paint and I used to take art classes, especially painting classes throughout high school and I miss that even though a lot of my classes are still art related. They're not like that kind of art, you feel? I don't even know. It's, it's hard to describe but moral of the story is, is I got to paint tonight which was awesome because as Bob Ross videos were playing in the background off of Netflix, yeah, I was able to create a thing. It's still drying, so like, wow. I don't know, it's just kind of like from the view of outside, super inspired, wow, hey. And I think what's really cool about it is because a lot of my artwork in the past has, you know, definitely been of moments of the past. Like I'll either take a photo or something to relate to the past and now that I'm kind of like living in the present and even slightly the future, which is weird, just I'm not like that normally. I've kind of just been able to creatively put that into my art, which is weird because uh, I don't know, it's like I'm so used to being stuck so much in the past that now it's different and it's really neat. So that's what I did. Uh, but in typical Sarah fashion, might I add, talk you the reverse that I know, but like a thing that I always do is I always have a tendency to go and I completely forget to name and label my artwork beforehand so I'm like, oh okay, I'm going to do it afterwards. So on the back is supposed to be like a space. I always put it upside down every single time since all of humanity. If you go back to any of my past artwork, which you can actually see, uh, not in person necessarily, but if you go out to Pinterest, I'll leave it below uh, by Pinterest. I have a specialized page where I kind of just post all my specific art, which is pretty exciting. But yeah, so I have a meeting. Not really a meeting. It's more like a meet with professional people, be a little foo-foo, and make connections for the future, which is exciting and a little intimidating to be honest, but I gotta dress up and go to that and what else am I doing? Yeah, and I don't know if there's gonna be in between time or what's going on, but then later on I do have improv and you know me, I haven't been there in like a week. It's been busy. It got canceled for this upcoming Thursday, so yeah. I'm just going to go to improv later and since I'm going to be out and about anyway, it'll be even easier to do so. So that is my plan, that is my action, and yeah, I just want to take a moment to talk about painting and art and the busy world that is here, but also my hands are like coated in paint now because I'm a messy painter. Not really, I just like, like to use my hands sometimes when painting. It's a new day, I have new classes, not new classes, what am I talking about? I have a class today, I have, a, I have two classes today, and I also have an audition later and just other miscellaneous things that may or may not be happening, so that's exciting. <laughs> um, it's super smoggy today, uh, and it's still sunny, so it's probably going to be a little warm, but yeah, yeah. Just comfortably for the day, I know I'm wearing jeans again, it's just cozy, I guess, today, like, just in this mood, me to be girl next door, sort of look for the audition later, and oh, that's exciting. So, that is my day so far. I'm going to go grab my coffee and start the day. So, I just slowly realized that I haven't filmed anything since earlier today. So, I'm back. I am going to talk. Um, yeah, basically I realized that tomorrow morning I had a tour that I am giving of the school which means a lot of walking before dance class, oh, before a dance class where it's a lot of dancing and moving and then it's just like an ongoing really busy day late until the night tomorrow so um, I have been working on something very class. Uh, I, I've talked about this, yeah, for the musical episode. I've been trying to actually put together the music, go back and forth with lyrics, and just trying to like format everything, which is kind of really crazy, but I think it'll definitely be worth it, and it's definitely cool to try to put this together, and it's, it's slowly coming together, but it's going to be cool. Um, yeah, that, that's like the story of today in general. It's been like, just this entire week has been really busy and stressful, but not bad. Just, just busy. A lot's going on, and it's really overwhelming to have so much of everything. No matter how good, bad, or indifferent it is, it doesn't matter. There's a lot going on. It's a lot going on, and uh, every day since Monday, like, Sunday was my last normal day ever since. It's been non-stop going, 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 like, throughout the whole day. 
um, and it's just like I it's difficult but I'm trying to manage uh, tomorrow's another really busy long day Friday I do have an audition out of Burbank which is exciting Ugh, I don't know how to like actually physically handle everything at once and I know that's growing I know that's like something you just need to learn as you get older but yeah it's it's still a lot so I have a lot of things that I am in the words, a lot of creative things, a lot of fun things, a lot of things you may be seeing and knowing more about as time moves on, but at least for tonight it's about, okay, it's like 8.17 and I'm just going to take a shower and go to sleep early today, which I know is so much fun, but there's so much going on and if I have a day that I can go to sleep early, like why not? Seriously, I need to take this opportunity and go for it. So that's been my day, uh, last little update. And yeah, so it is Thursday and I had my tour this morning, which was actually really fun because um, I was a smaller group because there was a lot of tour guides and it was just for a school that was coming through. Uh, and it was really interesting because everyone who toured were freshmen and from around here. So it was a little different than my usual groups. Usually it's a lot of people and it's like a variety of different levels of high school students and their parents. This is totally different. I had five people who are all freshmen and yeah, they're from around here. So, uh, it was just like a really great fun group. So that was actually like super, super fun today. And it's always fun, but it was even more fun today just because I had an awesome group. So shout out to you guys if you're watching. <laughs> but yeah, I do have my dance class later. Uh, yeah, I know, fun dance class. Uh, we're actually moving around today, but I've been super indecisive about what to wear because then later on I have an event over at IMATS, which is more industry and then we get to see another screening of La La Land which is obviously just insane but I have to fill out my information for the audition tomorrow all that good stuff I'm so out of breath today like it's been a lot of moving around and I'm exhausted like honestly all I want to do is just lay in bed today but it's been productive it's been fun and all good things are happening so that is my update I have an hour before class so I'm just gonna have some coffee some water uh get some things done beforehand and yeah Friday. It's audition day. It's go time. So it is the end of Friday. It has been a pretty busy day. I've uh, had class. I've gone to a cool audition thing. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it has been a crazy busy day. I have not been able to film a lot and that is for reasons in which I cannot explain and I said this too much lately and trust me every time I say it it's probably for a different reason but this is like really 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 something I'm not allowed to explain. So exciting cool things it was actually a really great day it was so much fun um, I definitely enjoyed actually on the way back from the location where I was actually at today I actually went to Crave which was amazing and good because you know how much I love Crave. Crave is a great place if you are just around this area in general even if that's like it's closer to Studio City it's well it's in Studio City check it out it's a great place also uh, yesterday, well last night, I went to the IMATS, uh, the rap event, which was really cool. Uh, you've probably seen a little bit of the clips of that, but it was really awesome because I learned more about the industry and everything. Uh, and then saw a second, well my second screening of watching La La Land. And second screening of La La Land, still absolutely amazing. I really love that movie. Not only do I recommend watching it, but I also recommend watching it in the theaters. Just keep the theaters alive um but also it's a great movie and it's very like bit screen cinematic and perfect and <laughs> they, they literally like walking out they gave us all la la land posters on, on the other side it is actually the uh just 
massive blown up stereo version of the sheet music to City of Stars. I love that song, especially since City of Stars, like, you mean out that window, which you can't see for this view, but you've seen it before. I felt it all the time. Yeah, yeah. Um, fun fact, if you ever get a cool room with a cool view, be very careful of not using up all of your space by taking photos and video of it every two seconds. It's tempting, but some days you just have to kind of enjoy it as is. So today was a lot of driving, uh, a lot of doing cool exciting things, and just kind of feeling really good about life. I'm in a stressful place right now where too much is going on and not everything's in my control. And the things that are in my control is really just prompting more things to be up in the air. Because <laughs> I do this to myself, but it's good things. So that is my day. Tomorrow I, well, right now I'm procrastinating because I'm wearing contacts and I really hate trying to take my contacts out, even slightly more than I do try to put them in. Putting them in is a struggle. Taking them out is also a struggle. I don't know, I just, I'm really sensitive and I'm not used to it because I don't wear them every day or necessarily every week or whatever the case may be. It's, it's a struggle. Uh, if you have any advice, comment, let me know. Uh, but yeah, that's that's been my day. So I'm gonna go to sleep. Well, when I take a shower, I'm gonna take out my eyes and then I'm gonna go to sleep. And I will see you tomorrow for another exciting and hopefully slightly more peaceful day. I just really want a peace of mind and ice cream. Even though my stomach hates ice cream, that's what I want. So uh, yeah, yeah, that's what's up. It's Saturday, I am sitting on my desk. I literally just got ready and it's literal, literally only a little bit after two, but I have a uh, film shoot today because I got cast into a fun little film where I don't necessarily have any lines. It's a silent film, but uh, yeah, gonna be exciting, going to be fun. That's gonna be a three, so I have some time before then. I've been a little productive today, uh, but I've also been trying to keep it easy because so much has been going on and I need to relax so that's essentially my morning uh, has been relaxing uh, beforehand though I am going to go on over to the library because there is a book sale going on I want to see what's there and I also want to pick up some coffee before the film so I'm a little more lively than I am right now right now I'm like meh don't feel super productive even though I've kind of been but I kind of haven't been so my plan is to just try to wake myself up just slightly more than I am right now so I'll be able to take care of the, uh, the filming to the best that I can and also still be able to get some things done that I need to get done uh, but yeah essentially that's my day <laughs> that's basically what's going on I'm uh, I didn't do anything with my hair yet, so it's like the but yeah. I just got back from filming a very funny uh, short film for somebody's class. So much fun. Uh, I got to be there, and yeah, if you want to check out that film, I will post the link if it's posted somewhere. If not, you can probably just find it, I or it's not up yet. I don't even know what's going on, but it was a lot of fun to be a part of. And I haven't really been in anything like that recently, so it was just nice. I met new people, and it was all a great thing. But despite the fact that it's Saturday, I still have a lot to do, and tomorrow morning I'm getting up early, and I'm going to be very busy, and afterwards I probably won't want to do anything. So, yeah. I'm going to be productive. I'm going to get them. Well, I'm going to be productive. I'm going to get things done, and it is going to be a nice early night for me. So, that's my plan. So it has been a busy but long day and week and everything, so uh, earlier this morning I had my re-tour guide training, which is just like a nice little few hours where you get to go in and learn about what's updated and then we kind of go on a massive tour with like all the tour guides and that was really fun, so did that earlier and I got some groceries from the room. We're at the sea store, not that much. I picked up ice cream, but I found non-dairy ice cream, so my stomach won't hate it. I got a lot of homework done, and I've been feeling really out of whack lately, so I'm just having a little bit of dinner right now, and I'm, like, it's only, like, six, and I know it's kind of early, uh, but yeah, I'm probably just going to go sleep early tonight because I'm super tired. I got up early to be up at the night, so my plan is to honestly just go to sleep as early as I can because it's... Like there's just so much and it's very overwhelming and I just need to relax at any instance that I can. And yeah, I hope you have a great week. Uh, leave a comment of something fun that you did this past week and thank you for joining me again. I'll see you next time.